Hello everybody, this is Dylan Byrne with Optics.org. I'm reporting out of Quantum West in San Francisco. Today I'm speaking to Chuck Williams, the product manager of Quantum Cores at Inflection, and Evan Salim, the chief prototype engineer and Quantum Fellow at Inflection. And today they're going to be giving us a product demonstration on the new desktop mod. So hi, we're here today to talk about the desktop mod, which is the commercially available cold atom platforms for education and workforce development. It is a self-contained teaching tool that enables educators, applications developers, and other workforce development folks to experience cold atoms at the touch of a button. It features its own self-contained vacuum system. It has a rubidium source that is inherent in the system, has its own magnetic controllers and magnets. It has an optics package to help perform the experiments inherent uh, in the, the, the package. A multi-chapter teaching curriculum written by our own uh, inter in in-house physicists and a spectroscopy stabilized laser that is coupled with the package. In the teaching curriculum, we have five chapters in the base level. This is ideal for a number of environments. Number one is four-year universities, two-year universities, workforce development, and internal training and applications development in commercial companies and defense primes. Okay, so the demo that we're gonna to run today is gonna show how the students will measure a, a temperature of a sample of cold atoms. And at this point in the curriculum, they've already had a chance to learn a good foundation of, of atomic physics and uh, understand a bit about light matter interactions. They have had a chance to, to work with optics. They, they'll have done optical coupling from one fiber to another. They'll play with polarization optics, learn how to measure states, the, the light. They'll start doing interactions with thermal atoms, look at precision spectroscopy experiment, the same that we would do to actually lock and stabilize the laser system. And then they'll do laser cooling. So what you're seeing on, on the, the screen here is a, a sample of laser cooled atoms. This, this white ball in the middle of the screen is laser cooled rubidium. This is a magnet. And you can see that if I move the magnet near the atoms, it disrupts the trap and the atom sample responds accordingly. And so that gives intuitive feel of interacting with the atoms, but not really a quantitative feel. So to get to quantitative, we introduce an element of real-time control to the system where they can prepare an experiment and at, at known times cause an event to happen, like have a probe beam go across the sample and capture the, the information off of that probe onto a camera. So this little display shows what's going to happen, that we're going to produce the mod in the video. We're going to drop the atoms, and as they drop, they ballistically expand. And the longer they expand, the bigger they get. So we can use that by running it multiple times to basically calculate the average velocity of particles in the sample, which corresponds with temperature, and we can back calculate temperature from that. So every time we, we run one of these experiments, we send a probe of light across. And we, and we capture that image on, on a camera, which allows us to create these false color images, which are basically atom density as a function of position. And we do that multiple times to, to calculate the temperature series.